Hey there. So in my last video that absolutely nobody watched, I used this body cam effect made with Reshade. In this video, I will explain how to set up Reshade for Gmod, install the body cam preset and customize it for your liking. Without further ado, let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do is to go to your Gmod on Steam, click properties, go to betas and enable the 86 to 64 Chromium beta. Um, now, this is not... You don't actually need to do this, but it just makes installing Reshade a little easier, also boosts performance a little bit, so I would probably recommend enabling it. When that's done, you need to go to the official Reshade website and just click download. After you download it, you go to your uh, files, and it's not here. Uh, you go to your files, you open up the Reshade installer, and you search up Gmod. Now, the installer is going to be uh, different for me since I already have it installed. Um, but here you have, you're going to have two Gmods. One of them is going to be just bin Gmod. And the other one is going to be bin win64 Gmod. Uh, you choose this one. You click next. Here you choose Direct DirectX 9. So here you're not going to have this menu. I'm going to have it since I already have it installed. I'm going to click modify just so you can see. Um... The preset, we do not need a preset just yet, so we just click next. Here, you click on check all, check all, and then you click next and install. So I'm not going to click it since I once again already have it installed. Once you did that, just open up Gmod. And so when you start launching up Gmod, you're going to have this little reshade menu on top. For me, it's already done, but for you, it's probably going to take longer since it's your first launch. Yeah, I have, I have an effect enabled. It doesn't matter, you're going to have a different one. So when Gmod fully launches and um, all of the reshade shaders install, you just quit Gmod. So after you did that, go to the description of the video again and install this file. Unpack it uh, Unpack it wherever you want. Yeah, my, my WinRAR is in Russian, don't mind it. So unpack it wherever you want and you're going to have this folder. Open up the folder. Uh, and go to step 1. Then go to your Steam again. Go to Gmod, Properties, and click Installed Files, Browse. Here you want to go to the bin folder, then to the Win64 folder. And then you just copy everything you have in the step 1 folder here. Now I'm not going to do it since I already have it here. <clears throat> and it's slightly modified. So, so you, you just copy whatever you have here to here. After that, you need to go to your Reshade Shaders folder and open the Textures folder. And in this uh, directory, you open Step 2. Now, here you have uh, multiple HUDs for your um, body cam. Um, these are just PNG files, so it's just multiple HUDs. Um, the best ones are probably this one, since this is the one uh, police uses mostly in US. And this one is it's from the Ready or Not SWAT department. It just looks good in my opinion. So you just use, uh, choose one of these files and just uh, drag and drop it into your textures folder. When that's done, you can just launch up Gmod again. <laughs> so when you launch up Gmod, you just got to click the home button on your keyboard. Uh, and the reshed menu is going to open up. Here, you click on the reshade preset button. And you're going to have three presets. Um, these are all body cams. They're just slightly different. So you can use whatever one you want. I personally use the, the number two. But you can use whatever you want. So you just select that. Wait a little bit. Uh, for me, it's going to be pretty quick since I used it before. But for you, it's going to take much longer to load. So when it loads up, you're going to have your body cam. Right now I have uh, one of the default ones enabled, uh, <clears throat> but you can make it animated as I showed at the start. It is pretty complicated though, and I can explain it in, in another video if anybody actually wants that. So at this point, you're basically done if you don't want to customize anything. So if you do want to customize it, all you got to do is to either change this PNG or just use any other PNG you want as the HUD. Uh, pretty much anything works. Uh, for the example, I'll just open this in PaintNet. You can use whatever you want, obviously. Um, I'll change the color to, like, purple. Really doesn't matter. And then I just save the file. I save the file, and I drop it into the folder. 
Now, if you want to have switchable HUDs, like you have multiple, you can just um, say rename this file to overlay1. I mean, you can rename it to whatever. Drop it in the folder. Uh, I have actually, actually, it doesn't matter. I'll, I will replace it. So you just replace it in the folder or just put it in the folder if you don't have one yet. Then you go to, then you find the overlay in this list. Uh, actually, you can just turn it off and on and it will skip to the overlay. Here you see the file name and you can just change it to any file you please that's in the textures folder. So now we have our purple one we just did. That's it, we're done. Now we have a fully customized HUD. Now if you want to make it animated, you can, but it's pretty complicated. If anybody actually wants to know how to do that, I can make a separate video about it. Um, also, I would recommend you to go into settings here and set yourself an effect toggle key. Um, so you can actually just toggle the effect with a button instead of opening the menu every time. It's pretty convenient. Now we just uh, launch up the game and see how it looks. So here we are in game. I recommend you uh, disable the in-game HUD so it doesn't interfere with the effect. And just click your bind and here we are. Here we have the effect. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Join my Discord, subscribe and if you have any questions just ask them in the comment section. I will try to answer as much as I can. Cheers.